Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Born of Bread, the Paper Mario style RPG that I'm excited to be back to here today. We are theoretically about to be doing the finale right here. Seems to be the case at the very least where everything is set up for this to be the, uh, you know, the final shebang. That being said, there's a couple things. Hello. There's a couple things that I kind of want to do. A couple side quests that I am curious about. So there's a lot of side quests. A lot of them are kind of like fetch questy, this, that, the other, that I'm not like, I'm probably not going to do. Let's be honest. I don't think that they sound quite as big or important as a couple. Like finding Lint's family is a pretty big one uh, that I kind of want to do. And then getting Alfie's guitar from her mother uh, for her mother. That kind of thing seems a little bit more important than some of these other kind of like, go talk to this, go bring me all this food, bring me all this food. You know, like, I don't think I'm going to go for those. Uh, so, in order to do some of that, let's take a look. We've got... Oh, it actually... Does it tell you what you get in the upper right there? Huh. You get some kind of, like, aggressive thing, defensive thing? I don't know. However... Let's go ahead and find... Where is it? It's probably going to be... Longtail family. Find the trace of the Longtail family in a southern forest. He last saw him in the forest of roots, but they're now nowhere to be seen. He needs help tracking them down so that they can live happy as a family once again. Maybe... This one is going to be more logical. I guess it's an island quest. Head to Mount Lamazri. This, I know where it is. So that's like, part of that helps uh, for sure. The fact that I just know where that is. It's a big deal. It's being said, I'm just kind of looking around. Just the frosty flats. So as far as southern forest goes, is it talking the southern part of the forest of roots? Or is it talking the southern forest from the Holy Highlands, which is the Frosty Flats. I could see it being either. There was some hookshot stuff that we could do in the in the forest. The Frosty Forest, I do believe. But let's go do the obvious thing first. Before even heading back to uh, Papa Baker. Let's start heading all the way up the mountain. And if we see anything with the hookshot, which I don't think that there was a lot then uh, maybe we'll go for that. Let's see. Speaking of, we'll see. Is there any... Any play in just getting more stats for Alfie? Ailment. 100% chance to sleep. But it has not been the truth. Alright. Anyway. Away we go. God, I loved the music here. And the colors. I wonder if there has been some hookshotable stuff, some grappling hookable stuff that I just didn't pay attention to. While we're here, maybe we ought to, nah, I was going to say look around for clues for the family. Ooh, boy. Might be able to do some little cheaty cheaty. Nope. Gotta let down that bridge. Wish we did that earlier. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh. I've become very strong. Now is not the time to chill. Attack! I mean, I will. All right. Gonna probably avoid as many fights as I can because they're not really giving me that much. Bleep. So, yeah. I know that we can do a little bit of shortcuttery. Um, what? <laughs> Did they just give up? Okay, I guess we'll do it this way. The way we are supposed to do it. It looked like you could cheat it this way, but apparently not. 
Probably gonna get attacked because it's gonna take a while to swap. Whoop. Gaming. Gaming. Whoop. All right. Anything we missed over here as far as burning? I know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we dug that up already. But yeah, we're heading deep within the, the trials. So like as deep within this place as we could pretty much get is where we need to go. So that is a, a very funny thing. Okay. So in terms of backtracking, it is the backtrackiest backtrack we can probably backtrack in this zone. And maybe even in like any of the any of the zones. I know there's some shortcuts though, is the thing. Is this the southern forest? Like, was that the southern forest back there? Could have been. Whoop. Thank God we have some shortcuts, because we got this one right here. Makes things a bit easier. There's some stuff we could probably do to the east there, I think, with finding, um, going to the top of that mountain. I have a feeling we'll have to come back for something. Whoop. But let's go get this Gorthar. Probably should just keep Yagi out. Like, this being the zone where we found him, it's probably going to be, you know, it requires a lot from him, I guess. Is this, like, a croissant? No, it's it's a gecko. To the summit's landing! Fresh mountain air. Always good to come home. Sorry, Alfie, I didn't think. Nah, it's okay. Home was never that great for me. Still, is it weird that I miss it? Not weird at all. Wherever you're from, home is a place that's important to you. I guess. I just hope you're right in my mom's guitars here. Don't want to have to have climbed all this way for a whole sack of nothing. Don't worry. If it's here, I'll detect it. But what are we looking for? Why, why are we looking for a guitar? Shouldn't we look for Jester? If we find Jester, I can't talk him around. We need a backup plan. I'm thinking maybe if we see something from home, if we could jam together again, maybe it'd help remind him of who he really is. Alfie, that's so sweet. Sweet ain't sweet. Watch your mouth, furball. Suggest we find whoever's in charge and give him a description. See if any leads shake out. That'd be the most venerable J Jade Sage. She likes us because we defended the Lamazri from that thug Klein. And when he, uh, sorry, don't sweat it. Klein's a softy when you get to know him. Oh, really? Sort of. Come on, let's find this ridiculously named Sage. I feel like I don't need the Sage. I remember seeing the guitar and being like, whoa, that's weird that there's just a guitar here. But I will do it. Just in case the story can't trigger otherwise. Mm. Actually, don't even... I feel like, as much as I want to upgrade Will's spending a badge slot for five points feels stupid. I actually can't jump right now. Why can't I jump? Ah, so the benevolent keepers of harmony have returned. And I see you have new followers. It's good to see that your heroic deeds have... Ah, one of the purple fiends is amongst you. Kill it! Kill it! Oh, easy. Your most venerable this. Alfie's with us now. She's helping to stop Jess from destroying the world. Ah, I see. Apologies for the uh, outburst. Ever since this year's legendary La Masri Annual Martial Arts Tournament, I've been a little bit on edge. Yeah, Klein does that to people. If the formal foe means there's no harm, then so be it. How may I help you, O benevolent keepers of harmony and ta tag alongs? Most venerable Jade Sage, Alfie here, is looking for her mom's guitar. It's crimson with hooks on each side. We thought it, we saw it when we were competing in the tournament. I know the treasure you speak of. It was returned to the treasure room after the tournament. Oh, great. Can we have it, please? It could uh, help us save the world. Ah, uh, noble goal indeed. Worthy of a benevolent keepers of you lot, but I'm afraid we can't simply hand over one of our most prized treasures. Low Flint, Yagi, Dub, and you have proven yourselves worthy, but your new followers have not yet shown that they embrace the Code of Jade. They must pass the Jade Trials. Oh boy, here we go again. We never just get given things, do we? Where would the fun be in that? Exactly, young lady. There are three Jade Trials. Your first will be to find the entrance to the Forgotten Vaults located below the Ruined Chamber. Show your desire for the object you seek runs deep. Use the La Masri's right entrance and this seal to get in without it. Within, you will face your next challenge, one of agility and endurance. 
Right, what's that proof then? Huh? What does proven our agility and endurance have to do with the Code of Jade and the Tranquility of Malarkey? The Code of Jade states that all who enter the, the vault must pass the trial. It has been this way for centuries. Are you sure you're most venerable this? I had a peek at the code the other day, and I didn't see any mention of... Look, we just had the new platform installations put in, and we need someone to test it out, okay? Test it out in what way? Oh, you know, general function, entertainment value, challenge level, safety. And there it is. Awesome, we're game, right, guys? The right entrance. And the seal. I mean... I have a guess of where to start. No. Maybe the place we otherwise could not have gotten to is a logical place to start. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna be a thing, aren't you? Whoa! Okay. I mean, I know this one does a little bit of AoE, I wonder. Jiminy? Walk the plank! Still not a whole- yeah, I- You know, we could fight, we're just not getting that much for it right now. If they're in my way, I'll do it. Something up here, too. So is this here if we, like, somehow could have sequence broken? Oh, no, that's there if we wouldn't have talked to the person. Interesting. Oh. That happens so often in this game. Oh, I see. Don't you dare? Oh, hello there. Welcome, young ones. How are you ready to face your next challenge? Who are you supposed to be? Now is not the time or place for such a question. Besides, you are extremely rude. When I say inner peace, head as fast as you can towards the end of the chamber. <laughs> the guitar you seek awakes at the end of the trial. Ready? Inner peace! Okay. Are we on a timer? Also... I must hit the gong. Inner peace. Regardless, I have to. This doesn't feel like it's the right way. Maybe there's something up there. I also... There's no timer. Or nothing, so I don't know that it's actually timed. And if you hit me with these, uh... The sleepy salamanders, you better believe I'm going to want to go for them. Especially since it seems like they could even be, like, locked out by us not doing it now. Bonk! I said bonk! I said bonk! Thank you. It's amazing that we've gotten every single salamander. Don't fact check it. <laughs> seems like something. Oh, you there. What is all this business? It feels like very out of the... Okay, so we're gonna have to come back and hit the gongs. Right? Alright. Don't... Nope. Go, 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 go. Please, 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 please. I mean, is it some... Oh. Well, there it is. Wow, that's one awesome guitar, Alfie. It's just as I remembered it. Guys, there's a note. Congratulations on passing the first two Jade Trials. The third and final trial awaits in the, within the object you desire the most. What does that mean? Hey, it comes from the skies! Guys, anyone else hear that? It's, it's just me or did it come from your mom's guitar? Maybe the evil spirit has possessed it. My mom would know what to do. Uh, Hello? Ah, uh, the giant sky giant speaks. Derek, where's Derek? Oh, there you are. See what the sky giants want, Derek. Not now, Mom. I'm on the last level. Don't take that tone with me, Derek. If you're gonna lead the uh, lead 
are people you have to be able to lionize with terrifying sky giants. <sighs> Fine. But if you're wiped out, it's your fault, Mom. Um, terrifying sky giants, please spare us. I've nearly finished radioactive decay 3, and I... Uh, Mom, they don't care about radioactive decay 3, Derek. Look, just wait a second. Do you live in my mom's guitar? Uh, we don't know what a guitar is, Sky Giant, but this is our home. Listen, this is my mom's musical instrument, okay? She lived a long time ago, and it means a lot to me. How do I explain this? <sighs> Little guitar people, could you please leave my mom's guitar? I need it to save the world. Sorry, but this is our home, Sky Giant. We cannot just leave it. Can we find you somewhere else to live? Tell them about Uncle Harvey, Derek. Forgive me, Sky Giant, but you don't understand. We cannot leave our home. When my great uncle Harvey went outside, he turned to dust. Oh, that's awful. But if we don't save this world, yours will be destroyed too. Your world is in ours. Okay, I see your point, Sky Giant. But, like, every game has an end. All we can do is play our best and hope we did the, enough to get the best ending. We're not going to choose certain death over possible extinction, even if our existence risks yours. Only you can decide our fate. Derek, you can't just give in to bullies like that. I'm not giving in, Mom. Look at the size of them. <laughs> we just have to hope they're good people. What am I supposed to do? What sort of <laughs> trial is this? Yeah, Alfie, do they want me to take the guitar and throw these little critters out or just, like, walk away? Alfie. It's just totally not fair. Who makes someone choose between destroying a world or letting a world be destroyed? Alfie. What? Sorry, everyone was doing it. I just sort of joined in. Look, Alfie, this isn't a decision we can make for you. But maybe we don't need the guitar, you know what I'm saying? The warrior knows what weapons are useful, but true strength comes from within. Yagi's right, you can stop Jester without the guitar. This story is all about the power of friendship. That's not what I said. Do not tell people I said you could win with the power of friendship. If anything, it's about a warrior's bond. What's going on, Derek? Quiet, Mom, they're trying to... Um, they think they're trying to decide whether to destroy us all or not. Oh, right oh well, I hope they hurry up. I need to get dinner on. So you think I should leave the guitar? Thinking about it, I wonder if the Jade Sage set this trial because of the dilemma you faced before, Alfie. You know, whether to destroy our world to potentially save yours. This is just the same, isn't it? To destroy those little people's world to potentially save ours. You're right, Chloe. Gosh, you're so smart. I see what you mean. Maybe it's not such a dumb trial after all. All right, little people. You can carry on living in my mom's guitar, but you better look after it, you hear? If you break so much as a string, you're dust. Got it? Yes, Sky Giant. Absolutely. We'll look after it. All right, let's go back to the Jade Sage, see what she says. Well done, Derek. I knew you could do it. I never doubted you for a second. Ew, Mom, get off. They haven't gone yet, so this mean I can finish Radioactive Decay 3 now? You silly boy. You know the answer to that. Of course you can. Thanks, Mom. As soon as you've done your homework. Mom! All right. So the gongs are nothing. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Trek appears to not encounter any of the barbarous creatures. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. Zoop. Wait, you're putting me down here again? Why not just let me out of- Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Calm your temper. Calm the temper. But why? It does that a lot of times in this game. Where it's like, we could- let you just get where you need to go. Or we could just... I know it's not that far of a walk, but we could just make it kind of tedious for you. The Benevolent Keepers of Harmony have returned. With no broken limbs, I see. So I assume you've completed the second Jade Trial. What was this? No, no guitar. Didn't expect that, did you? Now that would be telling. I hereby pronounce you all Benevolent Keepers of Harmony, followers of the Code of Jade, and so on and so forth. So what if I come back with a guitar, huh? Well, then I would have been very disappointed, and the turquoise sage would have needed to break out the vacuum cleaner. Your friend has learned a valuable lesson. It warms my heart. Come to the city of doors and cross the golden bridge. A blessing will be bestowed upon your friend. What? What is this? City of doors? What is the city of doors? My guess is that's how we get 
this. But what? Oop. I'm just confused. Just jump off. Huh. I... Yeah, I don't I don't remember where the city of doors is if I if I did even know where it was in the first place. Oh, shoot. City of doors. Have I been? I don't think it's I don't know. This is actually, this is frying my, my noggin a little bit. If I'm supposed to know where that is already. Careful, weapons hurts. Okay. Because my guess right now would be that it unlocks the special ability for Alfie. Okay, that looks like something. That I don't think this is like to be clear, I don't think this is where the city of doors is, but Conk. Eat apple. Ninety. I mean hey, we could we could do a fight or so. If I could choose one thing, still to this day. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, that's it? That's all that is? Okay. Now, this is how we got up there in the first place, I thought. Isn't it? So we let down that bridge. We had to get up there in the first place that way. So is this actually the correct way? Yeah. It's the bamboo forest. Let's take a gander. I wouldn't call this... I certainly wouldn't call this a southern forest. By any stretch. Southern from where we got the quest or southern on the map in general. I, it's, it's neither. So... That's a little bit of something. No, don't you dare. So, we don't even need the guitar. That's not actually for the thing. And we're gonna go and we're gonna find out that Lint doesn't need his family. And he's gonna leave them trapped and lost. And then we're gonna... Right? That's gonna... That's the lesson? That's the... That's gonna be the lesson, yeah. If we can even find it, I don't know. I would assume it would be like we head back to the initial village. Wow. You turned it off on purpose. Do you? I feel like you can make this jump without that. Yeah. I think that's just for the way over there. Not like this. We really should. Hey, it probably doesn't matter at this point to bring down that bridge. Back to the farmlands. Just so much backtrack. Why would I not want to do side quests? Zoop, zoop. What happened? There's the music. From the, oh, from the, uh, the turn-in with the salamander lady. Because, yeah, we got the quest, like, here. So, if you go south from here... I, I remember looking and there wasn't actually somewhere south to go. So maybe let's take a gander in the southern part of the forest. That's how I'm going to interpret that right now. Plus, surely there's all kinds of good stuff back there that we didn't uh, didn't mess with. I know for a fact we had the like a decent amount of invisible mushroom stuff. And 
Definitely there was some burning requirements for some stuff. But it's been a while since we've been here, that's for sure. Whoop. Alright, step one. Bleep. I'll talk to you. Bleep. Just because I was curious. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I thought you were the Husky Hornets flown up here to finish me off. Sorry I startled you. I scared someone. All this adventuring is paying off. I'll have to try and be less intimidating. I went for a relaxing walk in the forest after this morning's kujitsu training, but then the Husky Hornets attacked. That's terrifying! Came out of nowhere, a whole swarm. Hornets to the left of me, hornets to the right, and there I was, stuck in the middle. Cuckoo! Oh my. I was completely surrounded. I fought off the first few, but they just kept coming. I had to climb all the way up here and escape, only now I'm stuck. They're not still down there, are they? I think they've gone, but I'm so tired now, I don't think I can climb back down. I wish they someone would bring something sugary like a cupcake. I... No. I ain't doing that, sorry. I'm not doing fetch quest stuff or, um, bring me back food stuff. Not what I'm, not what I'm looking for at the moment. This feels like something. It could just be for a salamander, but bare minimum, it's a shortcut. Buddy health up. Buddies get an extra 10 health. Eh, yeah. Something. I went lint out. All right, I just want to move generally south. Just in case southern forest is actually like... Yeah, I don't know, man. I actually have no idea where that, uh, that would be. Whoop. And I, I don't even know where, how to even, like, ask around at this point, you know? Maybe the root maze back at the beginning? Like, just the... I'm just generally going south as much as I can. And usually it, believe it or not, leads just into a freaking, uh, pit of water. There's a salamander immediately? Like... Where is it? I just saw it. There's that. Whoop. There's another one, though, wasn't there? Wait, is there a treasure... There's a treasure chest up there, too. Well, hello! A green color palette for Yagi. I'll take a look. Hey, I, I kind of like that one. Yeah, so there is another one. The Lost Clearing. This is where we found the... Uh, lint in the first place. Not a whole lot of... South from here in the first place. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a mess I know. I ran out space inside my cabin to store my stories, so I started hanging them outside. Why? I didn't want to throw them away in case I wanted to rework them or recycle them, you know? The Great Trunk G's, dude. That was a quest. What just got... A quest just got updated. What quest just got updated? And why? <laughs> Alright, if we can't find anything, I'm gonna just... I'll pause and, like, run all the way back to Royal Town. TBH. Oh, well, well. I see a little something. That's a something something. Oh, it's just a treasure chest. Cool. Double the number of clothes dropped by defeated enemies. I got an achievement for finding that one in specific. 
All right. It's official. This is where we s fell down in the first place. There's Jack Squat. All right. I'm going to run back to Royal Town. I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'll, I'll brainstorm on the way. Just going to unpause to show that I see this one. Beep, boop, 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 boop. All right. And then I found one over here. Boink. <laughs> it's kind of back uh, over here by this lady that I'm not going to talk to. Unrelated to that, but I found something here. I found a dragon tower. Please feel free to visit the exhibition inside. I am, I am certainly curious. These ancient stone daisies can be found in various locations throughout the kingdom. <laughs> is this? Oh my god, it's the doors! Okay. That is very exciting. So I have Dead Men Tell No Tales now, which is a massive damage single target attack. For lots of will points. Cool. What? Oh my god, no! No! Why was this not told to me? But also, why do some of them not work? This is where... This is back to the... That's brutal. That's brutal to figure out about this so late. So this is going to be Lapwing Village. It's brutal. But uh, yeah, the big thing is why do I only have some? What's that all about? But there's apparently, there was a parrot here. Ask around. Thanks for helping the pepper and I down there in the mines. Got a little carried away. Of course, we no trouble with oiling. We could see it's just so dang dark. Is this burnable? It doesn't have the symbol that shows that it is. Oh, is it not burnable? I mean, I see him in there. Okay. I gotta look for probably like the mayor. I'll talk to you, maybe you know. About the parrot. Hunt to go to a dangerous place to explore. Haunted by the past. Full of evil things, cool. I think we talked about that already. So yeah, there is a parrot, something with Lapwing. I guess we can check that out. Ask if anyone in Lapwing Village has seen Audrey the Parakeet. You. Curse the blast of Lapwings. With that all the war and sabotaging necessary. You weren't mining right next to their homes without permission. You getting smart with me, kid? No, ma'am. I'll try to be as smart as infrequently as possible. Finish shooting the bird brains and suck their beaks where they didn't belong. It's all their fault. And I mean, I never think bad habit. All right. Is it? Was it you? I guess. Have you found the barrel? Oh yeah. Uh, no. And I don't intend to. Wonder what we're building? Good question. I was told to stack bricks, so I stack bricks. You know. Something back here? Hmm. What about you? Careful inside the mines. Dangerous critters that love the dark as much as we do. Oh, it's Kakoi up there. I guess I'll take a look at that. I'll take a gander. Yeah! Koi! Sorry, I didn't see there. Kujitsu training. But you weren't, uh, moving? I was practicing my Koi. It's the shout, uh, you sometimes make when you attack. Very noisy. Thanks. You know, you need to be of the forest, not in the forest! No, oh, you keep saying that, but you haven't explained what it means! It's for me to know and for you to intuit. At least have my own leak to practice with. Practice leak? You think I'm a joke? Read leaks are for Kujitsu warriors. You can have a small twig. Hey, Kikoi, looks like your super special training isn't going so hot, huh? You haven't even mastered vegetables yet. Mastering a new school takes time, Yagi. Some of us don't try and rush the process just so we can mess about looking cool playing hero. 
What are you doing here, anyways? You give up on your Saving the World quest? We're just figuring out our next steps. Yeah, fallen lead, shattery suspects, blowing the whole thing wide open. Sounds like a cheap crime paperback to me. Just sounds like I got friends now. You had friends before, even forgotten that I was the only one who would spar with you back home. Difficult to forget when you keep rubbing my face in it. Just excuse me, guys. Sorry to interrupt, but shouldn't we be going? You're right, Lint. I'm not wasting more breath on this guy. Oh, Yagi, I always wanted to be the best warrior I could be and used to think that... I thought you wanted the same. I do want that, but I don't need your help. I'll prove it. Why don't we see if your slow and steady process has done any good? Thought you had somewhere to be. Spare a few minutes to whoop your butt again. Won't take long. Sure. Maybe it's uh, what Yagi needs. Whip. 15 damage to the face. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. You sweating already? You're sweating already. I'm I've got I'm so sorry. You are just so dead, my friend. Oh. Well, Bruce dad to my collection. Thought I'd be too strong for you guys after all, but it appears that I've been improving, and so have you. Gotta say, you held up pretty well fighting on your own. You picked up some killer new moves. Got lucky to thank for that. He's a terrifying teacher, but I'm not yet the warrior I could be fighting you. At times, I was frustrated. I need to clear my mind, but I'll head to the ocean to find the strength that comes from serenity. If your travels take you that way, I'm sure we'll cross paths on the road to victory. Am I missing health, really? I am a little bit. Folks, heard you kids are with the old village. Thanks for... Can't thank you enough. Welcome, that. I'm Buddy, by the way. The village carpet there built and maintained just about everything in the village. This way, it's everything made of wood. Where the hell do... Who do I talk to about the freaking canary? You? Hello, bread pal. What's up? Hey, love the shades, by the way. Thanks, raccoon pal. You think that hat looks like, you know, I'm trying too hard? Nothing like that. Probably not the best person to ask, though. Yeah, the sweater's like so 80s. What do you want, anyways? Looking for Queen Beatrice's pink feathered parakeet. Have you seen any sign of her? Eh, yeah, aren't we all? What? Actually, while I was out preening this morning, saw a rootling carrying a pink feathered bird up the big tree in the outskirts. Didn't recognize the gal, so I thought it was just her man. Each to their own, you know? Hope she's not in trouble. Queen Beatrice what, desperately wants her back. Go! Find, a, find her and fly! Okay. So that's... Alright, I'm gonna pause. I'll be right back when I'm there. I mean, this is where I would assume you're talking about the Great Trunk. Here, here I am. What's it mean back here? What? Find the big tree trunk. Is this not it? Is this not it? Oh, for the lover. This is not the big tree trunk. This is a different one to the east. Gotta be honest. If it's not that one, then I don't think I care. She can starve. <laughs> All right. I was walking back, and I think that it actually might be right Oh, here. Yes, it is. So we gotta remember how the hell to get up there. Hmm. It's a green bouncy mushroom. Over there, but I don't know how to get to it. Okay. Was it... So how do I get up there? How do I get up there? I do not recall. There's definitely the mu the mushroom right there. Seems pertinent. Oh, here we go. This has got to be it. Doesn't have. To it does not have to be it. I'm flummoxed. There's a sleeping thing in there, but I don't really care about that. Huh. Is it just as simple as... I can jump on that. I can jump on that. Wow. Hello. Please. Audrey. Let Audrey go. Mr. Rootling. 
Uh, she doesn't belong here. Queen Beatrice misses her terribly. Excuse me, don't I get any say in this? Oh, sorry, I didn't think you'd... I thought you'd want to go back. You made an assumption, young man, didn't you? You assume that because I'm used to a life of pampered luxury, I should wish to return to that sheltered existence. I'm sorry. Well, you've assumed correctly. It has been an invigorating experience exploring this uncultured world, but there's no chia seeds in sight here. What about this rootling? He seems to be quite into you. Yes, he's a little too rough for my taste. Plus, the conversation is not particularly stimulating. <laughs> my point exactly. So, shall we depart? I trust you can return me to Mama. Yes, we can take you back. All right. We'll do that. But yes, yeah, Southern Forest. I looked around. It doesn't seem like it's anything to do with this. Southern Forest in terms of... Um, God. God. This is, it's its actually upsetting that this exists in a, in a way. Like, it's good, but also it's like, why can't I get these? I guess I didn't talk to the right people. Something out here? There's a little something here. What's this about? I'm getting so many freaking loose ends. What is going on here? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to get glitched out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oregon's tool bag. Okay. Just, what's going on here? No clue? Bring me to the bottom, please. Oh, man. I don't remember. She was in the mines, wasn't she? She might have been somewhere in here. But, yeah, let's go back. Southern Forest. Oh, horse sounds so gone. My snowshoes are hardly working. Plain shoes? But what if it were to snow? Okay, back to the queen. Better be good. Oh, Audrey, my dear beloved Audrey. How can I go on without you? What? Wait, what? Oh my god. Grr. So it seems the Rootling has other ideas? I should have known. But also I just did, was like, they're not going to make me fight this guy who's a tier one guy, right? Like why would, would it, I have to murder him? It just doesn't feel right. But hey, that's on me. Oh, very uncivilized. I suppose you saved me from a more awkward conversation with that creature. I'll allow you to return me to the castle. Let's go, then. Okay. All right. Now for real. Now back to the castle. What? Tweet? Oh, come on. I can't teleport, either. The game is being so mean. The good news is it's right here. <laughs> Remember to have... <laughs> Ah, the timing! The timing is so good. I do love this little, uh, this little Audrey there. I, I kind of don't want to turn her in, but I feel like we have to. Based off the fact that she wouldn't even let me go to the Lapwing Village. My dear sweet Audrey, where have you been? Great. My angel. No need for fear. Mama's here. You're safe now. Your Majesty, we found Audrey in the Forest of Roots. She was with a treat. Oh, never mind. We're just happy to bring her back. Why are these little whiny children still here, my little princess? If we give them some of the leftovers, you think they'll leave it? Leftovers? Given to you by Queen Beatrice. Easy loaf. It's not worth it. Thank you, Your Majesty. Very kind of you. We're just glad to be of service to your kingdom. The poor help his pet back to society. Cheeky little ahem. Tweet. Hush, my angel. No need to fear. Mama's here. You're for real? The shish kebab, and I don't even... What? Is it a weapon? It is. 
Oh, I have no interest in using that move. Thank you, though. Alrighty. Alrighty. I don't think I would have had any interest in that item even when we got the quest in the first place. But yeah, I mean, the reason why we had to fight that very underleveled guy is because we got the quest a long time ago. We're back, Mr. Baker. Mmm, I call this a primordial fruit pie. There really isn't anything like it. it. Smells amazing. This is your best bake yet. Strangest pie ever, but Papa Baker can be trusted. Loaf has a special attack. I wish I could tell you more about that magic book. Such a pity I couldn't find it. Well, don't give up hope just yet. Is this the book you used? By old Barnabas's whetstone, that's it. This is the recipe you used to make a child rise from bread? The Emperor and his sorcerers changed that spell around to make a body rise from the dead. And that works? You Just changing your grades from D to a B? Hang on, there's more. Uh, oh no. What? The original spell only works if the bread is needed with the love of a parent for their child. That's right. Bread should always be made with love. Isn't that right, son? The version Emperor wrote... Only works if a devoted child sees themselves in trade for their parents' rebirth. Sees as in giving up? No, 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 no. Jester has to sacrifice himself for the spell to work. But by Barnes Mrs. Pot Stickers, who could do such a thing? That, what an adjustment. I can't believe this. The Emperor never intended for Jester to survive. That snake. We can't let this happen. We gotta end this now. The only person who can break the spell is Jester, and once it absorbs him completely, no one can stop it. There has to be a way. If we tell Jester that his dad's a murderous rat, he'll wake up and smell the horse dung that he's waiting into. Worth a try. We have to get him before the spell does. What's up, losers? Something smells good. You better save some for us. I'm gonna need a couple of those pies to go, eh? Where's Jester? Couldn't find him? Vanished. Not a trace. Totally skedaddled. Went back to our base. D don't think he went back to our base. What? So we have no idea where he's gone? Not far. I can sense the magic building up all around us. He started the spell. How are we going to find him in time? He can be anywhere. Uh, I might be able to help. We can search Jester from the air. You got a magic carpet stuffed under the hat, kid? Maybe a broom? <laughs> no, my family has an airship we can use. Your, your what? Have a what now? An airship we can use it to search from above. If Jester's here, we'll find him in no time. Double, you're, you're pulling our legs, aren't you? No, how else would I have gotten here from our home in Cloud City? Cloud City sounds like a place I'd set in a magical fantasy story. I see where all the dragons live. No, we don't really come down much. You weren't kidding. You're a dragon when we first met. You, when you said we were a dragon when we first met? No, look, I'll show you. Just go to Dragon Tower and the edge of town, then ring the bell at the top. They'll come right down. I actually know where that is now. Race to the top, guys. Hey. Ah, you give up. <laughs> I'm burnt on the side quests, man. And I know the last one was my fault, but it was the cherry on top. Zoop. But yeah, finding this... Uh, I did not find this super naturally. Very naturally, that is. Alright. Better be worth climbing all the way up here. Okay, we're ringing the bell, Dub. Now what happens? Just give them a minute. They're probably traffic. Sky traffic. Sure, I'm gonna go look for... Huh? Oh, it really is an airship. How'd you know it would come, Dub? I told you, this is my family's airship. This is a... The, the tower is a dock for dragon airships. You're really a dragon? How many times do I have to tell you? Dub, come here, little buddy. Deb, Dan! What can we do for you, champ? Our friend Jester is in terrible danger. We need to rise above the city to find him. Well, now, we can help with that, can't we, Dan? Sure can, Deb. Just hop up there now, everyone. Get comfortable. Come give me a holler whenever you want these engines started. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Welcome aboard, Dub and Dub's friends, to our pride and joy, the Flying Komodo. She's a beautiful ship, but temperamental. Anything not secured will be jettisoned, and that includes yourselves. Keep all hands and arms and tails inside the ship, or prepare to lose them. Uh, where's the emergency exit? 
There isn't one. We're the air. Where are you gonna go? We hope you prepared your will and have a pleasant flight. Oh, uh, you guys. I'm gonna hurl. Prepare for takeoff. Oh, and that's a minor engine failure. Luckily, we're only a couple feet off the ground. You need some help on this one. Any of you kids mechanically minded? This might be a one-way trip, so don't take any unfinished business into the sky. Oh, my lord. Okay, I'm gonna... Ah, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna figure out if I can figure out the, the lint situation. But I'm lost right now. In my journey of backtracking, I've been led here. I just want to show off, because I'm pretty sure that this is not the correct way, but it is the correct way to something else. So I might as well. Yeah, 100%. This has got to... Wait, is this not where... Oh, we have to light the incense? Serenity headband. We've done it. What does that do for us? Is that a thing? It's nothing over here. Is it... Probably not an item. Is it a... It's not a weapon. It is a weapon. Oh, interesting. That seems worth having. Oh, God. Over what? The bow? Or the sword? Six times two. Four times one. So that should be, I mean, mathematically, sure. And then I guess we'll get the shish kebab because we can put it in, but I don't really know if I care about it. I also got one level up point, and uh, for clarity, I can't, I can't get any more bag space. But yep, I'm going to continue to be looking around. Uh, wait, actually, hold on. Found the incense burner. We, we lit it, gave us cool headband. For real, that's awesome. See, darling, I told you it was real. All right, that's great, hon. Can we get back to our home? Just a minute. My front feet could really do with a massage. Oh, I can't reach. Just, I don't suppose you'd mind. Haven't helped me. I'd like to quite get home now. Maybe we can snuggle up and look at your battle cards. Really? Come on, feet. You can do this. All right. One sec. I'm, well, one sec. I mean, for you guys. I literally fell in a hole in the Shivering Caverns. W welcome to my jump cut, Bill. Uh, but this seems important. I literally fell in a hole and I got here. However, the children of the grandchildren of the first embers were not content with being the keepers of the sunstone. They quickly became hungry for power, claimed the sunstone for themselves, declaring themselves its sole and rightful owners. They raised armies to push her outwards and enslaved their enemies to build even higher. As their hearts charred and blackened, their flames became tinged with red, violet, and last a deep purple. The purple corruption spread through everything they built, sweeping, seeping into the air, the soil, and the water. Light darkened, the warmth died. The ember cities became dark, cold, hard places. Okay. So, I don't know what's up here. Whoa. Treasure. Reduce the party's will consumption by... Okay. Alright, this is worth it. Yeah, that badge has so far been nuts. I don't know what rage does. So, I don't know if I care... Does it? I don't know if it's lowering their deal or not. This is extra will when defending. I'd rather just use one less will all the time. I mean, that's pretty fundamentally huge. We have learned. But, uh... Okay. Okay. I know we didn't explore here very much, which is why I decided to... We, we completely... We came over here and we said, eh, not right now. Right? No, we definitely explored this. We definitely looked at this. Huh. Huh. Color me confused. New stuff... Or, I mean, new stuff journey. Back at, now we're in the frosty flats. I've been literally everywhere. Just change the freaking Crow's Lagoon. I mean, that's cool that there's that shortcut, but dang, man. And back here, I just whenever I'm about to f discover something, because this was my my one guess. I did say like this technically is potentially a forest south of the other place. Technically, could be. So I. My money is on if they're not here, 
then at this point I'm absolutely as flummoxed as can be. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look around. But uh, I don't know, man. It could take a long time. Clearly I've been wrong in a, uh, other spots, so I'll be back if I figure something out. Burnable wall in the forest. Another one of these fools. Ooh, and a loaf color palette. That's kind of neat. Let's go for a blue color scheme. Cool. Looks like someone made camp here. Surprised they didn't freeze. Send the snow over there. It's my little sister's pocket knife. Oh, my family must have been camping here. So we're on the right track. Not sure I'd let a long tail kid have a pocket knife. They'd probably forget which bit was sharp. What if it means they left? Probably headed up somewhere warm. What if they've given up? They'd show the sun. They would not give up that easily. Besides, they came all the way to look for you. There's no vacation. Let's ask in the nearest village. Maybe somebody saw them. Hey, that's legitimately a lead. So maybe now we uh, can st stop the jump cuts. Firebomb. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, we're in firebomb land. Oh, okay, but yeah, you're uh, immune to hammer. Yep. I remember when Lint was the overpowered one. I mean, maybe whenever we, uh, if we unlock... Oh, this story thing. My freaking cursor. Maybe then, um... We'll get a little something-something. The High Ice Hamlet. So, why don't we have a teleporter here? Oh, we do now. What? So it, it did that before, but we didn't since we did. Oh my god. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's no, no, no. That's fine. That could have saved me so much teleporting. It's not even funny. This is clearly a thing. But it, it said to ask around, but I definitely want to know what's up in here. I mean, it's not bad. But I don't feel like I need to. Hello, have you seen my family? Don't scare you, but I'd love to be frightened. Enough creaky old house to squabble family, so I want to hear about the bloodshed, the murders, the horror. Oh, you busted those off. Are you not down yet? Hey, mister, don't suppose you had any raccoons like me staying here in recently? Nah, I'm sorry. The only raccoon to visit my little lady in a long time. Thanks, cause anyways. Oh. I was gonna say, do we have to talk to you? What about you guys? Okay, I think we already talked about that. Hmm. But we're obviously on the right track. They're here. What about you guys? You come. Wait. You ever find out what kind of birds your hat feathers came from? The many hats to make and no time to learn about birds. Look it up for you. It's from the lesser, greater little knuff fork. A bird that's rapidly changing size depending on how cold it is. What isn't that? Sleek little feathers from the ugly one-eyed dangleberry. Sorry, I must interrupt, but the hat needs flipping. Very urgent. I don't to snow problem. We have hats, gloves, and snowshoes. You certainly look at the chili. What can get for you? No, thank you. Actually, have you seen any raccoons like me? Raccoons, pointy ears, big bushy tails. Yes. Yeah, we had a bushy tail family here not long ago. Father said they had to get lost in the woods, forgotten to bring snow gear, bought a new jacket, hats, and gloves for all of them. Must be them. Do you know where they went? Said to go and look in the Shivery Caves next. The caves are east of here. Thank you so much. Come on, guys. Next stop, Shivery Caves. Oh, east of here. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, you. Um, I, I press talk. Okay, what are you doing behind the trees? Charting the area, getting mixed up with tourist group. Camera flashes disoriented me, and I ended up here. Okay, can I interest you in taking a look at this map? Don't hesitate to ask me about this enchanting snowscape. I mean, cool. That could help. That being said, I think we're. Probably good to start, you know, 
gain the, you know, they get around. If I know that it's to the east, we know that the house is to the north there, so there can't really be that many different places to go, right? So we just gotta go, like, down here-ish, and I bet you that we'll find our... Oh, yeah, no, we've been here. We just didn't explore it much. Oh, my God. Wait, could we have found them on accident? I remember when we said we were gonna explore this later. No, this is... we. This is not the place we just were. There's two caves that kind of just look like this, I guess. No, this is where we just were, isn't it? No. No, no, it's not. Or if it is, we're in a spot that we... That I couldn't get to the other way. Other way. Whoop. Ah! Ah! Loose ends. Loose ends. Loose ends. I don't even need to get that correct. But yeah, clearly we're on the right path now, so I... I wish if you press circle, it dropped the thing you just picked up. Okay, we got an item. What the hell? Charcoal pouch. Dust opponents with damage with its environmentally unfriendly content. Uh, we'll see if I want that. I, I don't. I don't know... So I guess I could probably check the map at this point. Hmm. Not necessarily helpful. Whoop, whoop. All right, anything? Looking for leads, looking for leads. I think we just kind of got to explore. I could just jump off over back there, but I think we're supposed to go through this cave. Or the cave. The gate. Old note. Dear colleagues must inform you that Professor Mustard fell down a crevice. Fortunately, he's still alive. Yeah, okay. Far end of the cave. I mean, away I go. So, I think that's the thing. is I think we exited to the left there. And then the whole fell down the crevice but still alive thing. I did know about. You know what? Maybe, I bet you, you know what it is? I bet you that we couldn't have found the family being here. That's what it is. We could not find the family unless we did the other thing. Mom, Dad, Button, what happened? Oh, my baby boy, there you are. We've been looking all over for you, and you made friends too. How lovely. No need to shout, Betty. I'm sure Lint can hear you just fine, can't you, son? How'd you end up here? Oh, yes. Uh, I'd rather like a beer, my boy. I fear we'll have to wait. You see, a big, furry, toothy fellow put us in here. Can't recall why, but it's lovely and warm, and no sense in complaining. Big, furry, toothy... Uh, what is that? Huh, rude. Me, Leaf, who are you? Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Lint. Master Leaf, sir, and these are my friends. I think there has been a misunderstanding. You seem to have put my family in a, uh, snow globe. Think you could, like, let them go? And if you don't let them out right now, there's trouble. We're not afraid to fight you. Speak for yourself. Fight me, not one fight. Leaf lonely, want stories. Seriously, we're, we're not fighting? Man, I was looking forward to that. Can we just fight a little bit? No fight, only stories. Tell thy story, become friend. Oh, I don't know any stories, but I bet Lint here does. All right, Lint? Guess. If I tell you a story, will you let my family go free? Tell thy story, become friend, Leaf, let all go. Once upon a day, no, so, uh, there was a squid. Dang it. I can't do it. I can't tell a story under so much pressure. You got this, Lint. Take a deep breath, Lint. We believe in you. You're the best storyteller I know. Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there was a big bear who lived by a lake deep in the forest. The bear's teeth were sharp as needles, and his claws were long, but he didn't want to be feared. Every time he tried to make friends, they ran from him because, uh, they judged him too fast. We know this story good. Leaf feel character investment. So one day, the bear had an idea. If new friends couldn't run away, then they'd have to get to know him. So the bear went out and found some friendly-looking squirrels in the nearby woods. He demanded that they be his friend, but of course they were too afraid. So he grabbed them and carried them back to his home. There he trapped them, safe but imprisoned in magic by his uh, log cabin, deep in the forest. So they refused to be his friend. The bear was frustrated. Couldn't they see how lonely he was? Bear, calm down. 
Clever bear, think before act good. Him grow, character develop. Every day the bear would sit and talk to the squirrels, sharing stories. Gradually, they got to know him and became less afraid. But one day, the squirrel's young son came looking for his family and found the lonely bear sitting and talking with them. The young squirrel had once been lost and lonely too, until the day he met his good friends, who now accompanied him. The young squirrel talked to the bear and discovered they had something in common. They both loved to tell stories. So they sat together told stories all night long. As the sun rose, the squirrel shared with the bear something that he discovered, something important. Learn to be happy in yourself. Was he happy? The young squirrel's words resonated with the bear. He understood. Stories like friendships take two to create, one to tell and one to listen. He felt remorseful for trapping the squirrel family. The bear freed the family, sad to say goodbye, but glad to knew he was doing the right thing. As they left, the young squirrel invited the bear around their house for dinner, and so began an unusual but enduring friendship. The end. A story. It's beautiful. Reminds me of Leaf. Me sorry. Leaf not like people stay anymore. Quite alright, sir. Sure is all a misunderstanding, but can't remember what it was about. Totally unrelated, but Mom and Dad would be okay if Mr. Leaf came by to visit us on the farm. Of course, dear. Any friends of yours are welcome to visit any time. Thank you. Me love to visit. Maybe tell you story, too. Great, I look forward to it. Glad you're all safe. Couldn't find you at the house, and then... Oh, sweetie, we never stopped looking for you after the Forest of Roots trip. We were so worried. My friends helped me, and we're on a mission to save the world. Your son's a great writer, Mrs. Longtail, and a great friend. Always knew you had it in you. Frank, don't you have something to say to Lint? Ah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that was a very moving story, although I can't recall what it was about now. Ah, uh, we're very proud of you, son. If you want to keep doing the story stuff, then we're behind you. Oh, share your stories with the world, dear. It needs them. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. It means a lot, and I will not let you down. Stay with me, Betty Button. Long tails are headed home. Hopefully. Your friend has learned a valuable lesson. It warms my heart. Come to the City of Doors. Cross the Golden Bridge. A blessing will be bestowed upon your friend. All right. Well, there we go. We'll do that. Uh, I'll, so I'm going to, I guess, pause until I'm back at the city, which actually shouldn't... Nah, it should be like... No time at all, especially now that we have the teleport. The teleport that we could have had for so long. If the game had pointed me in the direction of the, uh, you know, the southern part of town a little bit better. Then maybe we would have had the ability to teleport all freaking game. Would have been nice. Because <laughs> then maybe I, you know, I would have maybe considered doing a little bit more backtrackification. Because, yeah, when you just have to do this and you're back... That's not a problem. All right. And then we should... Yeah, we have the portal for that now. We have a broken portal right here for whatever reason. And then... We can just head on back. My guess is... Either for the next chapter... But I don't know if it's a chapter. What's this all about? Can I do something special with that? But yeah, that was definitely uh, that was the one big loose end I wanted to fix up. I think we just go. Um, I think we go Giga episode finale. Kind of feels right to me. Zoop. All right, go. I now have my loose ends tied up, at least as much as I'm going to tie them up. Those were the two, like, obvious stories that were presented to me. Boop. All systems primed and ready to go. Dub, when are you going to come back to my little mechanic, be my little mechanical apprentice, huh? I've got, I've got another, wait, I've got another eight feet. Ready for takeoff, you kids ready to go. Let's go save the world. Taking her up. I can feel the magic around is getting stronger. Jester must be close. There he is on top of the royal castle. He hasn't completed the spell yet, thank goodness. You want to talk to him? Bringing the Komodo in now. I already tried. Sid Klein, I'll see if you can get through to him. Jester, we got to talk, boss. Kind of the middle of something here, guys. That's the thing. Could you stop, maybe? How about we forget about this whole thing, eh? Huh? Does the bread boy suck at you guys, too? 
Not like that. Io said, Io too, you're all betraying me? Found the original spellbook, Jester. Says the spell will consume you. You think I don't know that? If that's what it takes to bring everyone back. Jester, your dad was the one who rewrote that spell. Yeah, he's the whole reason you'll die if we finish it, hey? No, it can't be true. He wouldn't do that to me. You guys are just lying. You want me to fail. Jester, come on. We're your friends. We always have been, and we always will be. You're all just jealous that I'm going to be the hero. I'm the one who will save the whole empire. Just like a real prince should. Well, well. All around us, it's the Empire. What the? My evil is going on off the charts nuts. There's evil everywhere. What if a tower appears right through the ship? We better land before we crash. We gotta do something. We can't just give up. If Jester can't complete the spell, then he can't be absorbed. So if Jester doesn't want to stop, we'll have to make him stop, hey? Yeah, fighting solves everything. This guy gets it. The palace entrance. Let's land there. Okie dokie. Expect a rough landing, so brace now. Welcome to wherever this is. Thanks for flying, Drago Airlines. Now get out there and put a stop to this. Can't undo the spell, but I can slow it down and buy some time. Sid, Klein, lend me your powers. Ah, uh, but there's gonna be a fight. Yeah, if we're here, who's gonna stop Jester? Now if he's got the best shot. That's true. He's always listened to you more than us, Alfie. Oh, jeez. Good luck, Alfie. You got this. Can I get a save? I don't understand. Why does he even want this? Just had hated all these people, and they hated Jester, too. We hated living here. We used to dream of all the things we do when we got out, and now we're finally out, and he wants back in? Maybe he can't imagine another way to be. He needs to know he's fighting someone else's battle, that we're our own toughest opponents. Let him know that family isn't just the way forward. Uh, we only way forward. We gotta make our own choices. Even if he's feeling lost, there's other people who care about him. Thanks, guys. You're alright, you know? Hey, you too, but, uh, can we get out of here? These ghosts are giving me the heebie-jeebies. The Imperial Gallery. Ooh, ooh. Let me guess, Bonk. Ooh. We got some Ember enemies. Let's figure out if you're weak to Ember attacks or strong to Ember attacks. Neither. Do I have an AoE? I don't have an AoE. I mean, the blizzard bow should do extreme murder. No, it would if he was not also resistant to arrows. That'll do. At the very least, it's, it should be good enough. Oh, I was going to say, it's not that impressive, but it's a two-part two, two part attack. So, yeah, definitely... Ooh. Definitely, we weaken them with our little, uh, our basic attacks. Maybe the fire? Yeah, I was going to say, the fire might actually do it, too. So, they should be weakened. They should take three per hit. We can just let the other one fail. Oh, what? Oh, he, he was so, oh, he was tricking me. He tricked me. He tricked me. The genius. S smack him with a ladle. He tricked me. Wow. All right. But also now that we know what we're dealing with, uh, we take in Chloe. All right. If I have an extra item, I might as well just... 
use it a little bit here. Whoop. God, freaking cursor. How long has that been? It's so annoying. So the, I, Oh, okay. I was going to say, surely it's not... We don't need to dig, but they're going to do the thing where we have to uh, use everybody's power, right? Yep. Yes, sir. They sure will, will they not? Dead forever. And there Loaf dies. All right. The pace at which we move through using everybody's abilities is going to tell me how close to the end we are. And right now, the... Oh, God. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'll have you be right there. That's cool. Definitely the coolest use of his ability. Bonk. Just in case it splashes to the side. And then we hit you with the AoE ice attack that might even might even make you sleep. So they can be enraged and sleep. So don't know what that's about then. Ain't broke. No fix. I do want to see the other special ability. But again, I feel like I would use it a lot more if it didn't have to be used on Loaf's turn. Oh, that was an attack, huh? Oh, it's also just one guy. Inflict damage and make them sleep. Create a devastating giant pie by tossing ingredients in it. All right. Kind of want to be a little bit conservative here with this. There's a chance we can even sleep ya. And we did. Then perish. Okay. I mean, we'll probably level up again before the end. These are giving a lot. You could absolutely just catch up on experience entirely right here. We have never used this this way before. Wait, where's the other one? Out here? And I like it. Should I just... I was going to say, should I preemptively get... Alfie ready? Maybe Alfie... Ooh. It's going to be more of a, an emotional journey. Zoop. I think we just do the same thing here. Oh. What do I... What? What did I... What was I... I messed up and I thought that I had to redo it. From what I missed. Which is just not the truth. And then we also got the lucky 50% sleep on both of those. We gotta figure out what um, Lint's special attack is. Oh, it was a revive. It's it revives you, doesn't it? I think so. Tell you what, let's be a little, a little different. Uh, 
Um, plot twist. 15 will points. Unwilling to see a storytelling trope broken and a protagonist killed it before the climax. Link resurrects the story's protagonist for 15 will points. I mean, it is good. Like, don't get me wrong, but... I could also just kill. Yeah. The whole shebang. Oh. It's like a little bit of a... It seemed like it actually there was some actual drop to it because when I targeted it directly, it didn't work. Okay, I guess it just didn't work the first time, just because it didn't work. Veep. All right. Is there a save point? The throne room. Yeah, I feel like... No freaking save point! I'm at full... Any badges to change? I'm gonna say no. Let's use default color palettes. Anti-ghost. I feel like two will point reductions is a pretty good deal. I, I kind of li like my setup, especially now that I do know for sure that Rage does increase the damage taken by them. It really feels like we should have Alfie with for this. Jester, stop. we got to talk. <laughs> Snap out of it, Jester. <laughs> Quit it already. This is not funny. He's <laughs> trapped. we got to wake him up. Oh... He resists the Amber Warhammer! I mean, let's try this out at least. Seven, so we can do 14 damage still. On top of the fact that that weakens him twice there. Ten damage? Oh! Use a delicious item. We get extra points that way. Oh, we have all these. How many We have three turns for that? Let's try out this giant pie business. cool. I like this one. Oh. I feel like that could have been better. Something that restores a little bit of both? Yeah, sure. Okay, we resisted. go back to the blizzard bow. We can apply even more uh, rage that way anyways. Which seems like it's making him take even more damage. Nine at nine. Sure. It would only make sense that Alfie's gonna be doing some pretty crazy damage here. But also, let's do a nine. I mean, dang. I didn't even use any cheese strats. I just had a crazy amount of damage. But something tells me that's definitely not the final fight. Uh, Jester, finally, you gotta, you gotta be normal for a bit? Uh, Alfie. Jester, look around. You always hated it here. We made fun of all this. All of our lives, we couldn't wait to get away, and suddenly you can't wait to come back? Why? Without this place, I'm not a prince anymore. I'm not anything. You hated being a prince. The endless talking about war, the boring ceremonies, the political doublespeak. Don't you remember all the times you faked sick to get out of the council meetings? That's why. 
All those times I was letting Dad down, disappointing him. He always said I was a failure. Everyone did. A useless, lazy, good-for-nothing prince. And they were right. They're not. There's stuffy people in stuffy rooms with even stuffier thoughts. And your dad was the worst of all of them. You don't need him, and you never did. We're rebels, remember? We do our own thing. If I don't do this, they'll always be right. Everything they said will be true. No, it's not, Jester. It never was. You're our leader. You're strong and brave and always have the best ideas. I, O'Klein, Sid, you kept us all together. Through all of this... They're not mad? Of course not. We're your friends. You always have us. Take my hand. We'll walk right out of here together, like we should have done years ago. Okay. Okay. Sh sure. Yep. Jester. Oh, no. Please. You. Useless spineless. Good for nothing brat. No, it's not. I tried. I swear. Right when I thought you'd finally do something right. Giving up, running away to your pathetic, wretched friends like always. No, I... Finish the spell. Do one useful thing with your worthless life. You knew it would kill me. Finish the spell, boy, or I'll finish it for you. What? why You make up a spell that would kill your son? A son worth keeping would do his duty by his father. You bring shame upon the whole ember line for a thousand years. We rule the lands with flame and steel, and you will ruin everything. Nothing is Jester's fault. The sunstone blew up and destroyed everything. What's done is done. Insolent girl. Stop. Don't hurt her. Alfie is my friend. She cares about me. Something you never did. How dare you raise your voice to me? You spent too much time with these indolent dregs. I'll get rid of the bad influences once and for all. No, leave them alone. <gasps> Maybe that'll teach you to show your father some respect. Don't hurt him, please. Don't worry, Jester, we got this. Oh boy. Starting off strong there, huh? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the good old-fashioned roast first. Get that defense up. I don't know if it'll even do anything. Then we'll use a pretty crazy item. And now we're ready, baby. You should do an attack. Hey. Don't got to tell me twice. We have the ability to use our big boy hammer, too. 15 damage. Hmm. I feel like we should maybe use a little bit of a more... A little bit better. The fact that I parried that... And it was completely unclear what it was even going to be is great. I think I'm actually going to Blizzard Bow because it stacks up a couple things of rage. How much that matters, I'm not entirely sure, but that's 18 damage. It's just better damage anyways. Okay. Eruption, we, we were good there. What are you waiting for? Do an attack. A plan on it. Kakoi. Okay. Seems like 9 might be as high as it goes. I think that we can, like, just reduce their armor. So we got some will points back. Just check. Can we have anything, like... Sure. Time, this is what all the items are for. Oh. That's never happened. Can I swap her out? No need. Not even a full level. You, 
I'm the Emperor, this cannot be. Jester, you'll never be a true prince. Good. I'm glad. That means I'll never be anything like you. I'm done with you. I'm done with this whole stinking awful place. I'm free. Yeah, we're gonna do our own thing from now on. Ugh. Independence! Jester! He's passed out. The palace, pa palace, palace is disintegrating. The Empire's dissolving. We did it! Jester did it! Hurrah! Only, what happens if we're still inside the spell? Quick, back to reality. Jester! Alfie! Oh, thank goodness. Quick. Can't hold the spell together much longer. All aboard the Get High the Heck Out of Here Express. Please be advised, we're currently experiencing some otherworldly turbulence. That means belt up for the, or face the consequences. Here we go. Huh? Where am I? We're on Dub's family's airship. What? The little guy? He doesn't have an airship. He does. And he's pretty cool, actually. Thanks. What happened? Is it over? Yeah, it's over, buddy. You stopped the spell and gave your dad a piece of your mind. You did great. I'm sorry about everything. Yeah, you got nothing to be sorry about, boss. Yeah, just get some sleep, dum dum. Yeah, we'll talk it over when you wake up, hey? But thanks, guys, for everything. Can't believe it's over. What's wrong, Yagi? I always thought when the quest ended, I don't know, there'd be a cool noise? Like a medal or some treasure? That's what you mean, like, uh, knowing I got an A-plus on my assignment? Maybe something like this? That's more like it. That's the stuff. Anyway, I bet when we land, Papa Baker will have baked us a whole celebration feast. Some mentioned food, eh? All right. Town feast. So proud of you, my boy. They'll be calling you up a minute for the central square for the queen's speech. All your friends are here. You should probably will talk to them first. Thanks to Chloe. I have a new one, though. Uh, you'll, so you'll still get a true taste of this power of Cyan of Flames. Hey, I never found my mom's guitar, but Chloe was able to lend me one. I mean, we found it. Looks old enough to be from the Empire. But I got it tuned up okay. So many people came. Do I really have to apologize to everyone? This is going to be so embarrassing. Thanks, though, for helping me write a speech. You got away with words. I say most excellent to see you, old chap. Congratulations on completing your quest, my boy. Fine work. Excellent stuff, old chum. We've got a new project, too, you know. That whale we saw. Terribly old, by Jove. The things it's seen. Fascinating stuff, living history. Must simply document it. OMG, our parents totally found out about me and Julio. Tragic. Weirdest part is they didn't seem to care as much as we thought. Been thinking a lot since traveling with you guys. I used to say strength was the most important thing you could have as a warrior. Well, that and lightning fast reflexes. But in reality, a good group of friends watching your back, well, that was worth so much more. My biggest weakness has always been trying to do everything by myself. Used to argue with Kikoi when he gave me pointers. I always thought he was trying to get my goat. Really, he was just pushing me to be better. Kikoi's still out there training, I think. I'll join him after all. I'm going to work on my weaknesses. Oh, don't look, it's them. Shh. We pretend we don't hear them. They'll go away. Things have been so much friendly at the Saber's Guild ever since number one left. Everyone's less worried about their leaderboard score, and suddenly quests seem way more fun. Uh, I wonder why. Was like number one terrified everyone into doing things her way. Check out the new vangle devices the Savers Guild gave us. It beeps if there's a new quest log nearby. I love telling my friends everything I'm doing. Community service. They sent me to pick up trash from the beach. Thing is, though, Professor Weirdos were there, and they kept following me around asking loads of questions. Want to know all about the Empire, what we did all day, how stuff worked, and what we ate. Wasn't interested at first, but they showed me all their research. It was all wrong. I had to correct it. They got me doing community service, which just means repairs and construction at the Lamazari. Don't mind, actually, eh? I get to smash stuff, and sometimes the younger slimes start a fight. 
It worked. The work takes forever, though, because the monks keep stopping for serenity breaks. Kiss the stay solving crises and working together. Absolute respect of them. Not like in my day, we fought about our problems endlessly. Hey, Loaf, thanks for getting us down off that mountain. Yeah, I realize battle cars are so much easier than hiking. <gasps> Loaf, Loaf, I'm finally a full fed shaver. The guild even offered me a job upgrading all the old shaver tech. You're it, Bub. It's about time. Ah, it was all thanks to you. The other shavers started watching your battle broadcast. And they finally saw how popular it is. People don't have to wait much to hear the next installment of an adventure. They can watch it unfold live. Next up, getting them to use anything more than modern and quilling paper. You'll get them on Drago Tep laptops and the smart stones in no time. We always know you do it, little buddy. Aye, telling folk adventure tales has been a boon to the tourism industry, and no mistake, tourists love a good story. Tourists love a good story. Charlie and I are setting up a detective agency, but I'm worried. Who's going to hire a detective with no experience? You got loads of experience. You found Clayton's secret. You helped Lo, Lo find the Sunstone shards and save the world. I just don't want to solve one. I just want to solve one big crime first, and then I'll open it. Just need to find the per perfect crime. The one where the butler did it. In a locked room with no doors. You can solve plenty of crimes once we've opened. That's the whole idea. Thanks for helping me find my family, Loaf. Thank you for finding us, Loaf. I'm so glad that, that Lint has such wonderful friends. Oh, Leaf's been helping me write our adventures. Leaf, like good story, Lint has big talent. It's been great to have someone to bounce ideas off of, and when I can't remember what happened, we just make stuff up. Community service. My services are communing with the spirit world. Hello again, young Loaf. Beautiful yard. It's a warm down here. Ah, there's a couple of side characters, but... It's so good to see you all. To celebrate my big day, I graciously pardon this lowly beggar. Thank you, your majesty. Uh, quite, it must... I must praise the efforts of a couple of children who unmask the true unmannerly culprits. And what do you scoundrels have to say for yourselves for so rudely interrupting my dinner? Um, yeah, so, sorry for wrecking the bits of the town, for setting fire to several buildings, and for casting a spell that threatened to destroy the fabric of the world as we know it. Um, and I won't do it again? Um, we won't do it again, promise, right guys? Sorry, uh, hey. Yeah, begging uh, your pardon and all. There's a grave error and we apologize. Yeah, our bad. Ahem! And we're sorry for our poor manners during the dinner time. Well, yes. Very well. I suppose that'll do. Now then, heroes need thanking next. Uh, Saver, convey my gratitude to the heroes. Yes, your majesty. Your majesty, the queen, the guild of savers, wish to honor those who put their lives on the vital glutens on the line to protect our beautiful city. For your heroic uh, heroism, please accept full-fledged lifetime membership of the guild and our highest hero accolade, your superstar hero titles. So to you, Lint, we grant you the title of Imagine Lad, the creative hero. Yagi, known as Quickfire, the impulsive hero. Chloe, for your snappy reasoning. Cluedo, the deductive hero. Alfie, you shall be Amp Up, the harmonizing hero. And of course, Dub. Me? Dub shall be known as Save State, the backup hero. I'm a hero? And last but not least, Loaf, already known the world over as the half-baked hero. Do you wish to make a brief speech, half-baked hero? What the... We've come in peace. Submit to us to prepare for annihilation. After I went through all the trouble of not destroying this place, nah, -uh. Ready to kick some alien butt loaf? All right. Beautiful stuff. Oh, and then the credits is them attacking and fighting aliens. Oh, that's so good. I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. What a good time that was. Unsurprising, I knew I'd like it. I mean, like you can, I just knew, I knew by looking at it, I was gonna love it. But boy, it was so charming. Uh, yeah, truly, truly, truly enjoy it. I love the Paper Mario style RPGs in general, but it's just kind of pleasant. It's oozing with charm. The characters, the visuals, the design in that way, absolutely fantastic. I, it, did I run into a couple weird things here and there? 
yeah, like there's some quality of life things here and there and a hell of a lot of balance things that, uh, you know, was it easy? Yeah, I was waiting for the time where I was going to have some kind of issue of some sort and it never happened. Maybe I'm just a gamer, but I, th you know, maybe my route of going about it was just far too easy to win with, which I wasn't trying to. I was like, okay, I'm going to use this until I find a situation in which it's not going to work. But the answer is that just never came. So we were able to rip through it pretty easily. I think that's okay. I think that maybe if it went kind of like the bug fables route of having like your normal mode and then like you can go out of your way and you can activate a hard mode by doing a little something. I think that'd be an interesting uh, angle, like having diminishing returns on some like stuns and stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, these are just the things I would point out for that. And then a couple quality of life things like, you know, being able to switch, uh, switch your partners with a little hotkey and, or, uh, you know, letting me know where the teleporters were earlier. Just like a couple things here and there. Uh, but all in all, those things are not nearly as important as the big things, which is the fact that it looks great. It plays great. The story was cute. The characters were well written. There's a, like some genuinely funny parts. I just, I really, really, really enjoyed it. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for Born of Bread. Are there some side quests and things that are not tied up? Absolutely. I, it was mostly like fetch quest stuff and like go here, talk to there. Uh, I, you know, as far as like Yagi and Chloe's side mission things, definitely curious. But to that, I say, let this be your reason to go pick up Born of Bread. Why don't you go check out all the stuff that I missed? Please go check it out still. Please do go get it yourself. I really, really enjoyed it, but I hope you enjoy it as well. I hope you go get it and maybe you play it again uh, in the future. That kind of thing. It's just, I really liked it. And if you like this and you want to see more of me playing games like this, let me know in the form of a comment down below. And if you've not seen my Bug Fable series, that's my recommend for where to go next. That was a, it's a much longer even series than this one in kind of like the paper RPG style genre as well. So go check that one out. Uh, or if you want to see like, like I, I do not think they're high quality videos at all anymore. But if you want to go see me playing the original Paper Mario 64, it was my first full fledged series that I did on my channel in probably like what, 2011 or 2012. So yeah, like, if you want to see my over 10 year old series on Paper Mario, I'm sure you can find that too. But rest assured, it's probably, it's trash, I bet. But alas, alas, that's that. It's going to do it here for today and for Born of Bread. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you will not uh, peace out and never watch my stuff again. Hopefully you'll stick around. Uh, let me know if there's more games like this that come out that are of this kind of caliber of like Born of Bread or Bug Fables or anything of that nature. Let me know. I'd love to check it out. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.